Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass on this 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. We extend a warm welcome to all who may be visiting today, and if you are looking for a parish community, we would be happy to have you become part of our parish family. Please check that your cell phone is off as we are about to begin Holy Mass with hymn number 396, Lord of all hopefulness, number 396. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord be with you. With My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, 
You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good, not evil, all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward for her labors and let her works praise her at the city gates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me bears much fruit. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey, was going on a journey and called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I've made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I've made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant, gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, you, so you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We read in sacred scripture, Blessed are they who show mercy, for mercy shall be theirs. gospel story today underscores that truth. Yet at quick glance, we might not get it. Because the word talent is used, we can tend to think, well, this is going to be a drive to sing in the choir or help make quilts or cook something or use those kinds of talents. All of those things, the gifts we've been given, are wonderful when we share them because we're part of something greater than ourselves. But rather, this gospel is about the greatest gifts we have been given. The gifts of the very richness of God himself. When you hear the word talent, you can think of, uh, I don't know if you ever saw, you know, those uh, different television shows and movies or whatever that all of a sudden these thieves are breaking into the safe, kind of like at Fort Knox, and there's all these gold bars. Well, that would be like a talent. It's a very heavy piece of something of great value. And so we see, obviously, that one of these gets five of those. Another gets a couple of them. One gets one. Well, so what? If you got one, it's still of great value. So it isn't about comparing the talents. It isn't comparing about who got what. But it's about what we've done with what we've been given. The first, invests it, makes more, shares it spreads it around, uses it. The second does the same. The third is fearful and thinks this is just for him, and so he just gives it back when it's done. Of 
all the different gifts of God, we can sometimes forget that if we have been given insight into the truth, if we understand the significance of sacramental life in the church, if we open ourselves to God's plan for human sexuality and life, then those are weighty, heavy things of great value. And when we come to know those things, we're called to share those things. We're called to, and they multiply. The more we seek to share something, to explain something, to witness to something, and the more we delve into this gift. The truth of who God is, of what his plan is for the human person. Great talents. Some of us have a deeper understanding. Where did it come from? Some because of some academic curiosity. Others because we believed the lie and suffered because of it. And so through the redeeming power of Christ and through leaning more on Christ and trusting in ourselves, we were able to put aside the false thing. Pick up the weightiness of reality and truth. One of the greatest talents, one of the most weighty gifts that you and I have been given to invest and to share is that of the gift of redemption. That we have been given freedom in Christ from sin. Mercy without limit. Blessed are they who are merciful, for they will obtain mercy. I don't think it's coincidental that people who tend to go to confession more often tend to be the ones who are less critical, less judgmental. Because they call to mind periodically, quite frequently, how much God has given to them. How much wealth they have in his mercy and in his patience and in his gentleness. And so the minute they see in someone else a need for mercy, patience, and gentleness, there's a solidarity there. I know what that feels like. And if God can offer it, then who am I not to offer it? The more we encounter that mercy, the more we receive it from God, the more we want to give it. We want to invest it. And we see it multiply. Our own heart expands. Our own desire, not only to not sin, but to be the positive witness, grows. Because we have opened eyes, opened ears, opened hearts. And if eyes, ears, and hearts are open, then we better be doing our part to continue to help grow these seeds that we have planted. The gospel brings home the reality that if you and I want to receive all that God gives us, and we will be repentant. We will be contrite. We will be determined. We will not only seek to eradicate vice from our life, but to increase occasions of virtue, to draw deeply of that which God is offering to us, and not to just be miserly and to take it, take what truth we have, take what mercy we've experienced it, and think that it's for ourselves, and keep it the best kept secret. It's an act of humility to celebrate the mercy of God because it's a recognition that we are sinners. What we receive as a gift, we're called to give as a gift. What we receive in the Eucharist is nothing less than Christ himself. Given to us, not simply to be buried move on our way, but to be invested in all of the opportunities of this week. Let us look for the opportunities. Let us seek to multiply what has been given to us. And we'll find not only that it provides for others, but that we ourselves experience more than we could have asked for or imagined. God is not a miser. I said it last week. 
The gospel today reminds us of how much he wants to give. And then he watches how grateful we are for it by the enthusiasm and zeal with which we seek to give the gift that keeps on giving. The gift of faith that we profess is ours to share in living witness. We ask for that grace as we speak these words. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and of all things, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We place our hope in God. We bring our needs with confidence. For our church and parish community, that our work and worship may reflect our call to be children of light, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in formation, and for all discerning vocations to ministry in the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the conversion of those who have pushed God aside, that our words and witness might be a source of invitation and reflection for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all facing marital and family struggles, that they may find peace and healing of fractured relationships, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all suffering and living in fear due to violence, health threats, poverty, and persecution, and for all seeking to bring them help, comfort, and protection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs we carry in our hearts to this holy mass, and for the eternal repose of our <coughs> departed loved ones, especially Mario and Pat Semprini, for whom Mass is offered today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Grant, O oh Lord, that everything we do be for the good of one another, for the glory of your name, and the salvation of souls, through Christ our Lord. Could you please join in singing number 585, We Are Many Parts, number 585. And the gifts we have, we 
we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed, one the love that we share, one, one our hope in despair. On the cross that we bear. God of all, we look to you. We would be your servants true. Let us be your love to all the world. We are many hearts. We are all one body, and the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed. One the love that we share, one our hope in despair, one the cross that we bear. So my pain is pain for you, in your joy is my joy too. All is brought together in the Lord. We are many parts. We are all one body. And the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed, one the love that we share, one our hope in despair, one the cross that we bear. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sin. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes. 
comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we're gathered by his love, and when is once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, he gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again and offer you the bread of life and chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Granted by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, almighty father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation, and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom be come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. And see your presence in each face. We treasure the gift of this sacred meal. Blessed and poured out for all in this place. And two or more gather in your name. And see your presence in each face. We treasure the gift of this sacred meal. Blessed and poured out for all in this place. Bread, the gift of your body. Wine, your lifeblood outpoured. Come join the feast, take and believe. Become what you receive. When two or more gather in your name, and see your presence in each face. We treasure the gift of this sacred meal, blessed and poured out for all in this place. Bread, our light and our life, truth and our word. 
Come join the feast, take and believe, become what you receive. When two or more gather in your name and see your presence in each face, we treasure the gift of this sacred meal, blessed and poured out for all in this place. Bread your manna from heaven, wine the fruit of your heart. Come join the feast, take and believe, become what you receive. When two or more gather in your name and see your presence in each face. We treasure the gift of this sacred meal, blessed and poured out for all in this place. Spread your mystery before us. Come join the feast, take and believe, become what you receive. When two or more gather in your name and see your presence in each face, we treasure the gift of this sacred meal, blessed and poured out for all in this place. Bread the path for our journey, wine of wisdom and grace. Come join the feast, take and believe, become what you receive. When two or more gather in your name and see your presence in each face, we treasure the gift of this sacred meal, blessed and poured out for all in this place. Spread the food for our longings, wine the sweet taste of love. Come Join the feast, take and believe, become what you receive. When two or more gather in your name and see your presence in each face, we treasure the gift of this sacred meal, blessed and poured out for all in this place. Bread for those who seek justice, wine for the humble of heart, 
Come join the feast, take and believe, become what you in each face we treasure the gift of this sacred meal blessed and poured out for all in this place in just a couple of weeks we will be entering the season of advent we invite you to take from the baskets between the doors in the back of the church a little copy of Five Minutes a Day, a great daily reflection booklet for the coming Advent season. Now's the time to prepare how we can manage to enter Advent and not simply get caught up in pre-Christmas rush. So we invite you to take a copy of the Advent booklets as you leave. Also, if you have not signed up and are willing to take the icon of Christ uh, knocking at the door, our vocation prayer icon, for one week in this coming year, the sheets are out on the marble table in front of Mary's altar. I would ask that if you intend to help us to please sign up today as we would like to begin making the schedule. Simply print your name and phone number uh, next to the week of your choice. As you leave church today, also the Knights of Columbus have some beautiful Christmas cards available to help keep Christ in Christmas. They're to your left in the back and to the right, some of our students at St. Pat's School are taking orders for Christmas wreaths that will help to fund their class trip. So if you're interested in either of those, we invite you to stop in the back of the church following Mass. You'll notice all the details next Friday and Saturday is our Christmas festival. We hope you plan to join us. Come for supper on Friday night. Come for lunch on Saturday. There'll be all kinds of wonderful things, something for everybody. Uh, this is always a lot of fun, so we urge you to come and spread the word. And we could use some help this week in different areas. So as you open up the bulletin, it's all there, and we hope we can count on you for that assistance. Also, don't forget, next weekend is the last weekend for the current weekend mass schedule. Our new weekend mass schedule and locations go into effect on the first Sunday of Advent, which is November 29, 30th. So next weekend, the last weekend under the current weekend schedule. So please read the bulletin carefully for those details. Let us pray. We've partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Could you please join in singing number 630, God of Day and God of Darkness, number 630. shadows stretch and deepen come and make our darkness bright all creation still is groaning for the dawning of your might when the sun of peace and justice fills the earth with radiant light Still the nations curse the darkness, still the rich oppress the poor. Still the earth is bruised and broken by the ones who still want more. Come and wake us from our sleeping so our hearts cannot ignore. All your 
your people lost and broken, all your children at the door. Show us Christ in one another, make us servants strong and true. Give us all your love of justice, so we do what you would do. Let us call all people holy, let us pledge our lives anew. Make us one with all the Lord. 